Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install and remove your seat belts on your Ford F-150 uh, from 2009 to 2014. So I'm going to show you how to install the seat belts, but removal is the reverse of installation. So this is the seat belt that was repaired, it's pretty easy, you have, it's all straightforward, there is only one bolt. There you go. <clears throat> so you have that opening right there. You you put it in and it just drops down. And then you attach your bolt. You're gonna need one of those size 10, or actually not size 10, the hex T50. This is not even a hex, this is a star size 50. So once you turn the bolt. This is that right there. This is on the passenger side. Uh, most of the things are the same on passenger and driver side, but there is few differences when it comes to driver side, and I will show you the differences. So next thing is the cable, the plug. Let me get some better angle for you guys. So this is the plug. You see, it pops up that little plastic thing. Once it's inserted. Right there, you insert, you push on it to lock it. To pop it back, there's a little notch, notch that notch up there. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. It's notched out, so you can actually put a small screwdriver or or like a something else, small and tiny. This is too big and just kind of pops up careful gently don't break it then you have that right there just push it back in and that's this is how easy to install this part on the body next thing is to install the panel to install the panel it's same thing straightforward you have to fish this here through this hole here. That's what you have to do. Run it through. That and the bolt itself. That's the next step. Make sure. And then you install the panel. To install the panel, it's a pretty straightforward process. Now let me show you. See those little clips on the panel so they're, they're just a plain clips they're not easily removed but they can be removed they're actually pain in the neck right there one is stuck in the body so I'm gonna pull it out and attach it to the panel itself just like the rest of them Attach this here up there you know this is easy nothing nothing hard see seat belt works moves up and down it's been fixed so this is done here next step I'm gonna store it install it at the dry at the seat up there and we'll go from there next step is to install this bolt uh, it's a tiny bolt, seven millimeters. I gave you guys. This is eight, seven millimeters. Now it's working the way it's supposed. To. So there you go. I'm gonna show you guys, so you can see the details. So this is the clip. Has airbag on it. So that's how you remove it. You remove it the opposite of installation. So you put a screwdriver or some kind of small device, pry it open. This here, right there, that's that clip or piece right there that covers up. There is no bolts, there is no screws, and it just slides in just like that to cover the bolt. Next thing, we're gonna install 
at the seat belt or the seat belt at the seat itself so the next step is to attach the seat belt by the seat this is the you put the seat belt right behind the lever and then you attach the bolt same thing same size T50 everywhere then you have a plug don't forget to put the plug back there is the plug once you install all that, that stuff next next step to install is the cover be careful with the cover those little tabs they're very easy to break it I broke one right there you may need to lift this here yep lift it slide the top first and then push it in so the best thing to do is to just gently pry it and lift it don't rip it because you're gonna break it right? That's how straightforward simple this is. You have trim, you gotta, and then you have to put the trim back. I'm not sure if the camera can see. Put you see up there, there's a light. All these holes are see through for the trim. No light. Yes, there, as you can see, it's already developed rust because moisture from underneath gear gets there and will corrode and it's only this hole and this holes here see right there the light is coming through because and my recommendation on those holes you know what I mean they either come off with this rubber bushings or clip or they the clip stays on the trim itself so the best thing to do if you want to keep the truck for a long time apply some anti-rust protective coating and I'm gonna show you which protective coating to use or which one I use and which one I recommend this is what I use hinder rust so over there I applied some of that anti-rust protective coating on each hole so it can because it spreads you know doesn't require much to apply but it works I have noticed it works so the yellow one's gonna stay it's not coming out easily so I don't want to force it and break anything so now I'm gonna put the trim back where it belongs so before you put the trim gotta put this weather stripping seal back had to remove because it prevents from removing the panel this panel so now now I'm gonna install the trim piece the trim piece is straightforward simple thing it doesn't really require much good idea to apply some coating of anti-rust the stuff that I'm using uh, in the rust to all these points or bushings whatever you want clips first of all it's going to be easier to install and second of all if any rust will develop and just push it in so on the driver's side to get to that bolt for the seat belt that bolt right there same thing that torx or star whatever it's called i think it's torx size uh that right there you basically either have to you, you have to remove this panel either remove this panel or what I did pulled it back but to pull it back you know what I mean you got to remove a screw there's a little tiny screw that right there you see it attaches to that as I'm pulling away and that little screw or little bolt whatever you want to call it that's right there so that was real, real which is you have to remove it and to put it back it's 
it's it's challenging because you know how much room to work with to start same thing size seven socket basically take your time patience is the key